English teachers of Reddit, what sort of strange or awkward personal details have students revealed to you through essays? As a first assignment to a composition class I would have students do a personal essay where they had to discuss something that happened to them earlier in their life and how their perspective on that event has changed over time. It was natural that a lot of students would pick tragic events but usually it was when their grandma died or something like that. They could sometimes be a bit hard to read but were generally not too bad. But then I had a student tell a story about her younger sister getting sucked into the propellers of a speedboat and chopped to pieces. The next semester I cut that assignment from my curriculum and have never used it again. Not the teacher, but wanted to share this story. In 10th grade, we were assigned to write a paper about a major moment in our life. At one point, we had to present our rough drafts to the entire class. A friend of mine started her essay with something along the lines of, I remember standing there, knowing he was in that room, that he will change my life, that he would, and my teacher cut off her, called her out in front of the class, told her off for writing about something as unimportant as a boy, my friend was shaken up, the flatly announced her paper was about the day she met her biological father and what it was like to be told to never contact him or his new family again. The teacher was mortified. I believe she pulled her out later to apologize, but there wasn't much coming back from that. A writing tutor, not so much a teacher, but I read a girl's essay of what it was like when a close friend of hers was killed in a gang related shooting. They both went to the same high school I did. He was in my class, and I remembered when it happened. Reading how he died with his head in her lap while waiting for the ambulance was so heartbreaking that I lost my objectivity and nearly started to cry. He was a good person and not involved in gangs or drugs. He was attempting to de-escalate a situation, but he lost his own life instead. So, not really awkward details, just an honestly rendered perspective on a tragic event. Of all the papers I helped with when I worked there, that is the one that stands out the most. That a 16 year old male student of mine got paid to do live camp feeds to older men. It was an essay on poverty and his examples were so graphic that I actually went to a guidance counselor and asked them what we should do. There wasn't much that could be done. He admitted to talking to people online but refused to say that anything else was done. His parents chose to believe him, of course. This was two years ago. Last I heard, he drives a new BW BMW and wears more gold than a pimp. I wonder what his parents think now? Not a teacher but a student. We had to give a presentation in our communications class about our guilty pleasures. Some people did chocolate or keeping up with the Kardashians. An international student did hers on GV, aka, gay videos. She did indeed mean pornography. I mean slides with images and everything. What did the teacher think was going to be presented when they said guilty pleasures? I teach English as a second language in an Asian country. One of my students wrote her final senior speech about her older sister who died as an infant. In a pile of fluff essays, I really did not expect to come upon such a deep topic. She wrote that they still celebrated her sister's birthday and her mom bought a cake every year. She also described how sad her mom was after her sister's death and how hard it was for her to continue to have children. I went up to the girl in the next class and told her if she wanted to talk more she could come to me anytime. She seemed surprised I said anything. But when she gave her speech to the class everyone was really respectful and she ended up placing in the top 10. Not a teacher but... My creative composition professor once had a student write a very graphic vignette about how said professor fell down a flight of stairs and broke every bone in his body. The student got an A because of how well written the piece was. Not an English teacher but kind of related story. I was in my public address class and someone's first persuasive speech was about why you should rebel against society. Sounds like a cool idea right? Well. He somehow mixed into his speech the fact that makeup causes violence because women can't afford it and go crazy killing people. He also brought up the fact that his parents are swingers and tell him about their lifestyle activities regularly. His conclusion? Ladies I'm single, full finger guns and clicking sounds included. You could say the speech was entertaining at least. 10 stroke 10 would be persuaded again. I was wondering why I get those crazy killing feelings. Makeup is expensive. One of my students here in Mexico wrote noodle fight in the middle of her written report. It had nothing to do with her report and it came out of nowhere. 
To this day I still don't know what she meant nt. BTW. I'm an English teacher here in Mexico and this happened at a university. The students were learning English as a second language. Not an English teacher so much as an English tutor, but one of my male students wrote about being physically shamed by a babysitter for over a year. It was a personal narrative grafted with an essay about physically shaming and misconduct not being taken seriously among males in the US. Honestly, it was one of the better essays that I've read, and it's even influenced me to take a more proactive stance in men's rights issues. Unfortunately the student committed suicide a year after writing the essay. This June would be the third anniversary of his death. I teach 9th grade Ella and it being my first year, wanted a fun and light get to know you poetry writing activity. So many turned out beautiful but lots included fear of disappointing parents. One really stood out though. A girl who was generally happy wrote about feeling trapped in her grave as others in her life threw dirt down on her. Once it was filled, she said she would finally have silence and peace. That went straight to the counselor and she left school shortly after that. I'm hoping she got the help she needed but they never tell us what happens. I had a girl write about how her father fought with her a lot and gave her blue arms. I asked her to roll her sleeves up after class. Forwarded the issue to my principal who contacted CPS. That must be gherkin worst part of teaching. I'm sorry and thank you. Obligatory not a teacher, but, I had to very kindly explain to a high school friend that she probably should rethink her college application essay about how discovering graphic yayo awakened her physical orientation. I don't know, sometimes it pays to go with your gut. My guidance counselor type person wanted me to rewrite my essay, which was something about an anime I was obsessed with at the time. I didn't. Combination of laziness and insecurity, and ended up getting accepted to study law at Oxbridge on it. Cool story bro. On the flip side, I once wrote a paper in college about living with drug dealers. I'd been living with friends when they decided to start dealing without telling me. When I found out I moved and was treated like a piece of crap for it, it had ruined my chance to go to an event I was supposed to write a paper on, so I asked if I could write about that instead. My professor was reluctant but decided it might be therapeutic for me, and relented. Got a pretty good grade on it, but she probably learned more than she wanted to about kids dealing acid and weed, and wanting to do more, than she ever wanted to. I had a student reveal their, uh, race preferences in an essay, and no, it wasn't about what types of people you prefer romantically or anything, it was pure, blatant racism. The weirdest part is that it was very well written, and based strictly on my grading criteria rubric, it was an A. It must have killed you to give them that good of a grade. I had an English teacher tell me that she used to do journals with her students that they could share to class. She explained that she stopped doing it because a student had written a long entry about torturing and killing animals, and happily shared it to the class casually. Yup, she's done with personal journals now. I never got to ask if he ever got counseling. My first semester teaching comp 1301. I had a student write a very personal narrative in graphic detail, about getting his testicles punctured and nearly ripped completely off by a BMX bicycle seat in a horrific after school accident. It was hard to look at him without wincing after reading that, and it was the first paper of the semester. Oh frick I can feel that now. Not an English teacher but a history teacher. Seniors are taught current events and last week I was teaching about Trump affair with, well all of them. How an affair can affect a president in bad way. I had one student blurt out. He can call Emmy his daughter or his dang butler while freaking. Don't care. I would do IT for that million dollar hush money baby. So there is that. I went to school for this. Thank you for your service. I was an English student and now I'm just thinking of all the crazy crap I told my teacher in my writing. I was definitely looking for help. Same. My wife teaches 9th grade English in a small town in Mies. She's got a large population of white, black, Choctaw, and Hispanic students. They all are terrible. Anyways one day she's reading papers about a hardship that her students had to go through and one of her Hispanic students decided to write about the day he lost his favorite dong in the ring and how it really upset him because he didn't have another dong that was as good. This 9th grader literally wrote about his illegal rooster fights and how he lost his prized rooster. 
A kid I taught went into detail on how they thought 9-11 was an inside job and how he didn't trust government. It was a little terrifying. One time I wrote basically a slam essay about how much I despised my ex-girlfriend. I'm a girl. Hadn't come out as B or anything. I used a lot of inappropriate language. Like the word frick. Not obscene or anything. And I basically just called her out on being a crappy person because we were together for 3 years and she cheated on me. I figured she would just kinda skim over the essays and give us an effort grade because the assignment was kind of just right about something that's been on your mind and wasn't really about technicality or anything. Welp she laid all the essays out and we all had to go around the room and read everyone's essay. Obviously she pulled mine but it was awkward explaining why my essay wasn't there. For my creative writing class our professor had us all write a funny Craigslist ad for something we wanted to sell or were looking to buy. Some older woman, I'm at a community college, posted a graphic personal ad looking for a younger man to satisfy this hungry cougar. She included a link to a cougar pee site and everything. The wackers love to post weird crap on discussion boards. I'm always baffled by how they think this stuff is appropriate. I had to pass on some work to our safeguarding leaders. The task was simple, demonstrate the use of effective punctuation and sentence structure in a short story titled My Perfect Holiday. I got some pretty radical ideas from a kid who wrote about going to see his family in Pakistan. Happy ending though, it turned out he doesn't have family in Pakistan, he just thought it was funny. Sigh. Why do I find this so funny? Not a teacher. In grade 9 we had to wrote about our earliest memory. Little did my teacher know that my earliest memory is the morning my stepfather killed himself. I got called into counseling after that. LOL. Oh crap I'm sorry for you. That's gotta be pretty rough. A 7th grade boy turned in an intensely erotic gay. Copied and pasted from some fan fiction website. Story where the main character had my name. It's been a while, but I think the character's name was changed to my name from its original internet incarnation. I'll never forget the first line. Hot, steamy Miami. As all good stories begin. I teach English in China, at an affluent school. One time I was trying to teach about making lists and graphs. So I asked them to write down how old they were, how old their mother was, how old their father was. To my amazement at least the other kids had a father 30 years or more older than their mother. I double checked and it was correct. Another time we were talking about houses and one little girl said her house has 9 floors. Now I know her dad came to the school with 3 different Porsches. Red, yellow and blue. Just whichever one he felt like driving. And a holly. But I found this hard to believe. But she insisted that it was true. Not only did she have her own bedroom she had her own dancing room and music room. I asked the other kids and some of them said it was true. Didn't read it in an essay but one time a student of mine, who went by the name Queen, handed me a note during a class break before she left. It was a confessional of how explosive her diarrhea was, the reason for her early exit. I think I still have that note around here somewhere. I once had a student write an essay about having to lay on top of her baby brother on the floor during a drive-by shooting at her house. She was trying to protect him and felt pieces of drywall snow down on her as bullets whizzed overhead. It was a hard thing to read, but it was no doubt a harder life to live for a kid in 8th grade. I once had a young lady write about her homestay experience. It contained I was so happy when I tasted my host father's dong. It took me a bit to understand she had meant cooking. It was an ESL class in Japan. I made an appointment with my microeconomics teacher to make up an exam that counted for about 20% of my final grade and missed it by 30 minutes. I woke up still drunk and emailed him saying I was so sorry for missing the exam sir, and then followed that up with Zgxfo. He did not reply and laughed to himself when we made eye contact in class. I'm a librarian, but I'm teaching a creative writing workshop in middle school. Students were allowed to write about whatever topic they wanted. And one girl turned in an essay about how her mom was on drugs, drinking, and partying while pregnant with her. And she was immediately taken from her mom when she was born and custody was given to her grandma. Her mom then proceeded to have two more babies while still doing drugs, drinking, and partying. But the grandma had her hands full with one child, so the others went into foster care.
The self-awareness of her situation and the complete emotionless way she described every detail was absolutely heartbreaking. I sent a copy of her story to the counselor and talked to her about her story directly. Sadly, she didn't get the help she needed when she was a baby and will be dealing with the effects of fetal alcohol syndrome for the rest of her life. Not an English teacher but a trans girl in my school read out loud a story about how he she grew up in a bad neighborhood, was bullied for being gay, and eventually lost their best friend to suicide at her father's own gun range. Really brought the whole class in shock and tears especially for middle schoolers. Not the teacher, but I work with her. We are a public charter school and we tend to get various of types of kids from different districts. This one family has 6 children and all of them are troublemakers, always doing something bad, mostly get into fights. Apparently my co-worker told me that she assigned them a essay about people they look up to, and the only son of the children. Wrote about his friend is someone he looks up to because he has my back while we go break into cars and get into fights, and we already spoke to parents, but obviously they don't care. We are completely sure this poor child will end up in a gang unless he changes. He is only in 4th grade. Student was texting a boy she really liked. Seemed as if she was giving away her identity to try to win him over. Including physical things. I encouraged her to be absolutely careful with what she should text people. And that she didn't need to measure herself by anyone else's acceptance. She was a smart kid. I'm hopeful she learned. Not me but a friend in a EFL school in Egypt. Had her 8 year old boy pull it out and start masturbating. He was taken aside and asked why he done. Cause it's what daddy does was the reply. Unfortunately this is common in developing countries where an entire family will live in one or two rooms. When I was a student teacher, I had a middle schooler who wrote a personal narrative about how her mom needed her to breathe into a machine to get their car to start. She clearly didn't understand why she had to do this. It was reported to CPS, but my placement ended so I don't know what happened. But now I teach high school and get to read about miscarriages and friends overdosing. My friend is an improv teacher and has students do monologues of personal stories inspired by a prompt as part of his class. One of his more interesting students was a pornster, and her monologues were about funny things that happened to her while filming P. It was apparently not unusual for her to start with when I was filming a double penetration scene. This isn't strictly related to the question, but he also had a female student who liked playing men in scenes, and apparently 8 weeks of his class made her realize she actually wanted to be a man. An international student who had been working and surviving alone since age 14, and thus felt like an adult at 18, basically wrote me a love letter proposal. Age doesn't matter, then I had to as gently as possible decline, and he was gutted. After that he made a point to avoid me. I was so surprised about this but I checked with male friends who said it didn't surprise them. Based on their memories of that age, and with the cultural difference, even this memory is hella awkward. Worked as a TAFE for freshman comp and had to read all the essays and grade them for grammar and spelling, using the good old heart race. Read an essay from a student I knew pretty well talking about watching her twin die by getting hit by a car crossing the road. I never knew she had a twin, and I couldn't imagine the horror that she went through. Not an English teacher but the student that did this. I'll in my freshman year and for English 15 we had to write a paper on some form of literacy we have that's been important in our life. A lot of kids wrote about something generic on how music helped get them through life. I wrote about how my mom doing drugs when I was 4-8 affected my social literacy and how it's the reason I've had so many problems interacting and making friends and found many problems I didn't know existed with myself like this constant clinginess that drove friends away. It was initially a joke like hey I'll write about it and it'll be unexpected but once I started writing I got filled with so many emotions and ended up crying more than once. Oh man. I got one recently in a presentation. Kid mentioned he didn't know what his mom looked like. That got me in the feels but he just said it as a matter of fact. That she used to kill her pets when she was 5 by throwing them off a high rise balcony. She knew it was messed up. She was pretty okay by high school and was very introspective. 
Not through an essay, but a high school English teacher of mine told us about how a student literally came to her to ask if he should take up on an offer posed by a female student who he wasn't interested in dating but still interested in the offer. You could tell she was absolutely dumbfounded he asked her this to this day. This was via a journal entry. The prompt was what do you fear? This student was a refugee, as were all of his peers in this class. It was L. He talked about the time he spent in the camps and how he'd hear gunshots and helicopters during the night, so he was afraid to go to the bathroom. The whole entry was chilling, but he ended the entry with, I'm also afraid of tests, because my English is not good. Not a teacher or anything but recently as a newfound college student I was the kid who wrote that kind of essay. The essay was supposed to be like how to do something. So, me being the way I am RN, I wrote an essay on how to kill yourself. Teacher admitted my writing was phenomenal, but he refused to accept it. Even though there were no rules against such essay topics, I had to write a new one from scratch. Turns out THR teacher had lost someone due to suicide in the past and my essay struck a nerve. I still wanna cry of sheer guilt when I think about what I did. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.